biggest question I get all the time and the biggest thing that people are skeptical about and kind of the biggest problem that people have about getting into this business is what they're afraid of is why will a supplier work with me? Why will a big brand name authorized supplier work with me and sell to me instead of just selling themselves or selling to other brick and mortar, other big box retailers? And the biggest reason why I bring this up, if you don't know who I am, my name is Bo Craig. I have 10 years in e-commerce experience, big Amazon seller, big eBay seller. And what I'm sharing with you and the reason why I want to tell you why will a brand name supplier work with you because I know they will, right? But it's going to be hard to convince you that they will and I'll tell you why. So actually in nine days, right, I'm gonna be going to a trade show in Texas where I actually just got the list of retailers gonna be there. If you don't know what a retailer is, I'm a retailer, I sell on Amazon, I'm a retailer, I retail out products. Best Buy is a retailer, they retail out products. They're not a manufacturer, they're not a distributor, they're a retailer. So I just got the list of the retailers who are gonna be there and you might be surprised. So there was big box retailers called Best Buy, Walmart, GameStop, Target, Dollar Tree, Ross, Costco, a bunch of big box retailer stores, like every single thing you can think of, GameStop, they're gonna be there sourcing from the same exact suppliers I'm gonna be sourcing from and buying their products to retail out. So why would my suppliers sell to me and not just sell themselves or just sell to Walmart, okay? Because I'm literally gonna be working with the same exact supplier that Walmart's working with. Pretty crazy, right? However, that's, and I'll be documenting it when so in nine days I go down to Texas, I'll be showing everything, I'll be creating videos down there and be talking about the experience, talking about preparing there and all that good stuff about going out of the trade show. However, why well, want a supplier to sell themselves? So it's gonna be a toy trade show. And let's say for example, and this is actually an example that happened in the past. Let's say there's 10,000 lightsabers, lightsabers that supplier A has. Supplier A has a choice to go sell themselves on Amazon. And maybe it's gonna take them two years to sell out of those 10,000 lightsabers. And let's say they make a 50% ROI after everything's said and done after the two years. And maybe they made a quarter of a million dollars from those lightsabers. So they could profit a quarter million dollars right there. Right, let's say it cost them $500 million to turn to $750 million. They have the option, instead of just selling on Amazon, as well as to wholesale it out, to supply it out to other retailers. They can supply it out to me, and but they won't also just supply it out to me because I don't want to buy a two-year supply of something. I don't want to like wait two years to sell out of those products. I want to turn around fast. I'm okay with having a six-month supply, but they want to sell out within a week, within a month. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna sell maybe a thousand to me, they're gonna sell a lot to Ross, they're gonna sell a lot to Walmart, they're gonna sell a lot to Target, they're gonna sell a lot to Macy's. So now that just dispersed across the whole entire country, because you guys gotta think about it, Amazon's a big marketplace, but it's still relative, is that they do $136 billion in sales, but the whole entire retail space is still much, much bigger. So I'm putting on the screen right now is that Best Buy does $39 billion in sales, right? Now, if you do GameStop, they do nine billion. A bunch of other places just keep doing billions and billions of dollars. Walmart does like as much as Amazon. So if you keep adding it up, Amazon's still just a section. So, and what's really funny guys is these suppliers, still majority of their sales is to brick and mortar. This might surprise you, but like a couple years ago, it was like 90%. Now it's close to getting down to 80, 70%. That's still majority of their sales is to brick and mortar. Because brick and mortar is huge guys. You might think, oh, Toys R Us is closing down, Macy's is closing down. It is because there's an opportunity right here of Amazon who is able to be a huge retailer that anybody can do it. And this is leading to my next point. So if we go back to show that Best Buy does $39 billion in sales, but their income, their net profit is less than $2 billion. And the reason why is because they have so much extra expenses, right? I don't have all the expenses that Best Buy does. I don't have to have employees. I don't have to have a shipping center. I don't have to have a warehouse and receiving unit to go accept products. I don't have to have all this stuff. I don't have all these employees that just eat into my bottom line. I'm able to just go retail myself using FBA's platform. FBA takes a small fee, but it's nothing compared to having employees. It's nothing compared to having a warehouse, okay? So I'm able to go buy from the supplier that relatively it makes more sense profit-wise for them to sell to me because they might, they're gonna sell to me at not as a nice a price compared to Walmart, who's gonna go buy 20,000 units versus I buy 1,000 units. However. I'm gonna still have a higher ROI or the same amount of ROI than them because I don't have all the costs. So I'm able to buy it from the supplier a little more and when we're talking a little more, we're maybe talking 50 cents a dollar, all right? That can be a big difference in volume when you're doing tens and thousands of sales. So they're willing to sell it to me is because it still makes sense because they would rather sell out of those lightsabers, right, in a month's time. They would rather just get rid of that 10,000 lightsabers. They would rather make 5% off half a million dollars than making 50% on half a million dollars in two years. They'd rather make the 5% in a one month's time. 
So that's kind of the biggest reason is the problem that you're solving is they want to do volume and you fit the equation in the volume of retail with Amazon because you're able to still sell at a profit margin. So now the next thing I'm gonna get into is there's a lot of products that are not good for brick and mortar. There's a lot of products that don't sell that fast in brick and mortar but will sell online. So what I'm really talking about here is there's a wider range of products you can buy online than buying at just a normal brick and mortar store. So there's a lot of products that people are not really willing to go sell and Walmart's not really willing to go accept these products from a supplier, but they work for online. So there's, I mean, for example, I just bought, let's call it, it was 2000 gloves, right? The Dollar Tree was actually going to buy them, but then they canceled the order and everything like that because I put in the order as well. And then the supplier sold to me instead of selling to the Dollar Tree, I was able to buy 2000 of them just because of like the volume made sense, the price made sense. But I'm, those are products that are gonna be better and actually gonna move faster from my end on online retail than Dollar Tree. So what I'm just trying to get at here is there's a lot of products that your supplier may have in their store. And this actually kind of goes back to the volume thing. There's a lot of things that they have in their warehouse that they wanna get rid of that maybe Walmart doesn't accept. There's a lot of stuff that Target doesn't wanna accept, that Ross doesn't wanna accept. But if you run the numbers, it makes sense and you can start adding value to their company like putting more and more to their bottom line because I'm able to run the numbers on them and buy products that had just been sitting in their warehouse and right so that they can't sell it online retailers. So just to recap this video guys, a big brand name supplier will work with you because I'm going down to a trade show in nine days. If a supplier is going down to a trade show, they want more business. No one would go to a trade show if they don't want more business. That just does not make sense. Okay, so what you want to be looking for, right, is that these people will accept your business because the biggest problem they have is volume and you solve and you fit into that equation and also there's gonna be products that simply that brick and mortar wouldn't accept and that you will be accepting so hope you guys like this video if you did i want to understand like what your feelings was on this if you have any thoughts about that comment down below what your thoughts was think if this video makes sense to you or if you really like this video if you do give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel